Hi, I'm Phyllis. I'm Sam. And I'm Deanna. And you're watching Word, Word of, of Mouth. Mouth. The surgeon said it was okay, sweetie. When? Um, 10, 15 minutes ago. Why didn't anyone come and get me? Family only, Adam. What? They asked that it be family only for now. Who did? The surgeon? Just for now, sweetie. He seemed pretty adamant. Family only? I guess they can't have too many people in the room because people. he just went through major surgery. Who do you think he's been living no, with for the past four I... years? Next fall is about um, a couple, Adam and Luke, and Luke has just been hit by a car. And so he's in a coma in a hospital. You've got the couple who were the, the, the whole center of the play. You have several friends uh, that come into play, and you have the parents of Luke. It's centered around the... A hospital waiting room and it goes back and tells the story of Luke and Adam through a bunch of different flashbacks. It starts off how they met um, and then it goes into you know where they started their you know relationship. One of the first flashbacks we see after Luke and Adam meeting for the first time is Luke telling Adam that he's Christian. And Adam is very confused and very curious and pretty skeptical. There was a dynamic between the one partner being uh, non-religious and one person being extremely re religious. So you had this tipping of the scale back and forth on all points always being made. The, the, the yin and the yang and the push and pull of the whole play was all about really the religious context. The whole thing is about faith and accepting death and what that might mean for everybody affected. Patrick Husinger plays Luke, and he's, you know, I wouldn't say that there's a star in this show, but, you know, he's certainly the central character, um, and he did an amazing job. There were a lot of moments where he just had to completely change his emotions, and you really felt it. I found him to be very beautiful. Just like the way he delivered everything was really soft and, and just right on you, it fell on you, it you know, like almost knocked you over. He was very powerful, it came across very powerful. So I was very, very happy with his performance, he was very good. Patrick Breen was, I think, the stronger of the two of the couple. You could really feel his heaviness with, because he was going through a midlife crisis, he's a lot older than Luke. He's got so much character now in his expression and his face, and you know, he just was so real for me to watch, and it was very enjoyable. I thought he had amazing uh, comedic timing. I thought, I mean, I just thought he was so funny, um, but he was, it was also a very serious role. So I just thought he did a really, really good job. Maddie Corman as Holly was really interesting. I liked her. She was funny. When she had to be, she was serious. When she had to be, she was compassionate. When she had to be. John Dugan uh, played Brandon, who was uh, another friend in the circle of, uh, of the couple, but um, he really delivered a good performance. I, I enjoyed him. He was a little in the peripheral, uh, but then, you know, like the, he, they were able to give him enough that he came into the fold that you're like, oh, okay, I see where they're going with this. Connie Ray played Arlene, who is Luke's mother, and she is hysterical. Um, you know, she, again, all of these characters had to be funny and serious. I thought she really provided the compassion in the show because she understood where Adam and Luke were coming from after a point. And she was conflicted, but she was compassionate, and I appreciated that in her. One of my favorite performances of this entire um, cast was Cotter Smith, who played Luke's father, Butch. I am actually from Northern Florida, and I lived in Tallahassee for four years, which is where Butch is from. And I mean, it, w it amazed me. It seemed like they just went to Tallahassee, pulled somebody and plucked him out of Tallahassee and plopped him on this stage. I believed every second, and even if I didn't agree with him, I was on board with him because he was so honest. It's a terrific play. It's new, and you know, it's, it's a pleasure to see new things. As much as you like to come and see something great being revived, it's nice to know that there's still good work being done and new things coming. I will go on record right now saying I hope this, you know, wins a Tony and, you know, I, I think it's, I thought it was absolutely probably the best play I've ever seen. I'll say it. I liked the show. I didn't love it. It was, it wasn't slow, but it just didn't go anywhere. I felt like the conflict was so overstated about the religion. It was every single fight they had drove back to that, which makes sense, but it got tiresome. It seems like there's so much stereotypes against uh, Christians, and I think that's kind of a, you know, I, I think, I don't think any stereotypes are good. 
um, at either way you look at it. Um, so I just felt like it was um, it was very refreshing to see that it wasn't you know a play like that. You know there was a lot of different uh, uh, points which were quick and undertones and funny and just you know rolled right along. It was it was. Uh, it was educational in a lot of ways, like I said, that I found out a lot of things. And I enjoyed it. It was just, it was, it was a, good, a good night's theater. I don't think I would recommend the show because it's draining, it's heavy, and parts of it just didn't build right. Oh yes, I would recommend this. I have a whole list of people that I would love to see this uh, play. I think it's amazing, and I, I really would recommend this to everyone. So you're what then? You're a Christian. Okay. What, does that freak you out? Does it freak me out? Yeah, why would it freak me out? No reason, no reason. Wait, what are you? What am I? <coughs> Besides a vampire. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing, you know, I don't know. I, I didn't really uh, grow up with a religion. Well, I do not care what you say, but these tomatoes are fierce. <laughs> <laughs> You're gay though, right? 